everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mary Jo. I hope everyone's having a great week. Thank you everybody who's been subscribing and sharing and tweeting and commenting and booking readings. Like I tell you every week, I really appreciate everyone and thank you for helping my channel to grow. Um, I always wish you the best and I hope that these do give you some help, guidance and peace, the readings that I offer from Spirit. This reading I'm doing on the 9th, which is a beautiful day because Jupiter has entered Libra and it will be in Libra until October 2017. So we transited from Virgo into Libra. And this is a beautiful day of compassion, love, partnerships, equality, um, any justice, um, equal partnerships with everyone in the world, including ourselves and with others, whether it be family, friends, loved ones, neighbors, on a collective. This is Jupiter's expansion with Libra is justice and balance. So we're going to see some great shifts and changes outside of ourselves and of course within ourselves because Libra is harmony. It is balance. It is the judicial system. It is the legal system. Interesting. And um, with Libra and Venus rules it. And then Jupiter is expansion, growth, higher learning, knowledge, philosophy, foreign lands, foreign cultures. So you can see where we're going with this. But microcosmically on, a, let's say, minute or snapshot view of yourself, let's see what it is for you in the microcosm, okay, and how it's affecting you. I'm using my Ulan deck, but since it's a potent day and a beautiful day, I did pull an oracle card from Nature's Whispers and from my fairy deck, but this is my Ulan deck. And since we are in Virgo, it's very earth energy, so I definitely wanted to use this Celtic deck because it does have that sense of the old world and the Druids and early Celtic or medieval times. Now, I have not gotten this card in a very long time. It's the Two of Pentacles. Now, it does vary from deck to deck on how it looks, so let's interpret this one. Now, either way, with the Two of Pentacles, to me, a time frame, this card is like, would mean the time frame of December 22nd to 30th if I was looking at an outcome. So I'm just putting it out there because it might be significant for some of you, December 22nd to 30th. Jupiter and Capricorn is this card. Capricorn, we know, is Father Time, Karma, government, restrictions, boundaries, the teachers, it's ruled by Saturn, um, Capricorn's hardworking, diligent, and then Jupiter is expansion. So we're going to look at it as something's expanding within our maturation, how we grow, maybe with even karma, with time, with our work, or how we see ourselves working in our day-to-day -day lives, okay? But on a smaller scale, let's look at the Two of Pentacles in this card. Now, the Two is a duality here. The Pentacles could be your health and wealth. It could be money for some of you. It could be about your health. You're juggling something. Okay, so you're either juggling something with your health or juggling money right now. For some of you who are artists, you're juggling something creative that you are working on. Whatever poetry, song, dance anything with the arts, even sciences and agriculture. It's something you're working on, a duality. It's like something you've got your eye on. You see you've got your eye on it. You're very diligent. That's very Capricornian. You know, you're, you got it in your hand. You know you got this. And you're working on this. You're very focused. But there's something else here off to the side. Maybe it's a distraction. Maybe it's another option. Maybe it's something that you are not paying attention to. You see, it depends. This is a general reading. But I must tell you with this card is very different. Look at how you stand at the end of a pier. And the water is raging. I mean, it, the waves are crashing around you. These are your emotions. There's something bubbling up, brewing up. And last week we had a card that talked about our, our depth. So something is rising up here. And with this duality of this situation, it's like you're really putting a lot of either anger, angst, upset. You're putting a lot of emotional um, worry into this. And I must tell you, because it is Jupiter and Capricorn, 
we know the great benefic is going to be bringing you a blessing. This is going on right now. This is temporary, as most things are in life. It is how you perceive it. You are waiting. These ships are laden with what it is that you're looking to expand on. Whatever it is that this is in your hand. So if you're looking for improved health, the answer is coming. But emotionally, you're in an upheaval right now. If it's about something artistic, if it is about financing, choosing between two jobs, choosing between two people that you love, choosing between two things that you have to do in your family or friends, anything in your life, or choosing between two cars, two places to live, um, two apartments. You see what I'm saying? It's just something, a choice that you're faced with right now. Now, look at you. Look at you at the end of this pier with all these crashing waters, but you're on one leg. One leg is perched up like in the yoga position of the tree. You're balanced. You might think you're an emotional wreck. <laughs> it's an emotional wreck going on around you. Maybe people around you are just like crazy emotionally, but you are standing your ground. You are sure-footed. Look, you're almost on your tiptoes, it looks like here, you know? And yet you're balanced and poised and focused. So even though this looks like, oh my God, I'm going to get wiped out. No, it's just saying all your rough waters, dear ones, are behind you. You are poised. You're graceful. You're balanced. You've been listening to spirit and been grounded. Last week we talked about grounding yourself physically and emotionally. It looks like you've got a sure footing here. And whatever this is that you're focused on, it's something in the unseen that you're wanting. Soon it will be coming to you. This is the lemniscate, right? The number of infinity, energy, always in motion. You always want and desire something more than you have, but that is our human nature in the physical. So I'm glad that you're poised and graceful. Let this rage behind you because it is behind you in the past. You've got a sure footing. Things are coming to you. Now, let's say if it is a time frame for some of you, maybe December 22nd to 30th means something to you, and that's when it could be coming, and you'll see the outcome. And I know it sounds far off, but it might not apply to all of you since this is a general reading. Then we have, wow, we have the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is looking over at this, this jester, let's say, or you. King of Cups, again, raging seas around him. Lots of emotions, but look how calm you are. Now, for you, if this is someone involved, this is a person, if it's male or female, very creative, very romantic. It's like that dreamy kind of guy or woman, the ideal mate. So if you're juggling with going out with this person, you don't know if you want to or not, this is a beautiful relationship. And though he's calm, he has passion. He's confident, but he's creative and he's stirring. Or she, okay, because it could also be female. But it would be someone um, older, I would say over 35. So whoever this is pertaining to it means for you. For other people, if it's about your health, it looks like you're going to start to, you see with this raging water, you're going to start to have ideas about and focusing on how to work on your health. If it's an artist, because this, this king does denote ideas with the arts, dancing, poetry, you know, like I said, very charming and charismatic. It could represent any of the water signs. For some of you, it would be a Pisces or a Scorpio or Cancer. Uh, it could be the moon, their ascendant or sun. But don't feed into that too much because it could just be that they do have the qualities of someone very dreamy to you. So if it is a person, we know what they're going to be like, okay? And they're looking toward you, and you're juggling here. If this is about your, um, your own spirituality, this is definitely about you touching into your spirituality, and the, the veils are thinning, okay? We will be having the equinox. And, you know, for a lot of you, it's going to be increased dreams, maybe even astral projection, out-of-body experiences, seeing things from the unknown, Okay, and it could be all this passion within you that's rising up, all of rage within you that's rising, any emotions that is really very passionate and overzealous rising up with you. And even though it's stirring within you, you're keeping a calm exterior. So whatever this is is going on in your life, it's showing you 
are going to stay calm in the face of what's going on around you. And you're going to come with ideas because the king does rule the intellectual mind, all of the kings. But this king does rule the emotions, which is the cups for water. So we know that you're going to have the, the right, clear mind to come up with the ideas, how to stay calm, and touch into your psychic inner knowing to help you with this situation. And if it is a, a partner for you in some area of your life, if this is a person, that's what they imbue and, and represent. Intellect, calm, cool exterior, but warm, loving, caring, even someone in the medical field or in the field of service something in the arts or creative this individual could be. And if it is that you, that you're this artist or whatever, you're looking toward here this balance and stability, you'll come up with the ideas how to deal with this um, situation. If it's your health too, you're going to have a very calm approach as to how to deal with this. If it's about this car, this house, whatever it is that's going on in your life that we're talking about, that you're juggling here, the duality of, this is just saying here that you really are going to have... Um, that beautiful calmness about you, the way you deal with it. Now, this is a major arcana, the emperor. The emperor in the tarot does uh, represent Aries, I must tell you. Now, this king's got it going on. And in this deck, it's Bran the Blessed. The king here, this emperor energy, and the four talks about completion. So this is knowledge achieved, attained, respect, reverence. People seeing you as knowing what you're doing. This king he rules with love and compassion and everyone does his bidding for him because they trust in him so if this is you you're taking on this energy that people are going to start to look to you as a mastering what you're doing whatever is going on in your life that you've got a good hold on it and you've been through a lot and the four is this is the end now you can relax you see like he's sitting back in his chair i mean he's lean back Lean back. See, like Fat Joe, that song, remember that? Lean back. But look at him. His arms, the way he's thrust to his side. Look at his face. This is like you after this ordeal that you've been going through. You're just sitting back like, oh, it's over. It's done. I'm victorious. I have achieved a period of calm in my life and control, self-containment, maturity. We're talking about this maturation here that's going on. You've worked hard and you have matured through this experience and people are seeing it and recognizing in, in you that you have come such a long way and they respect you for it. Now here the King of Wands, very different energy. We have water, we have fire. However, he also rules the intellectual mind. The King always has the ideas, right? This King of Wands can be any of the fire signs, the Aries or the Sagittarius and the Leo. Okay, it could be any of them. However, it could be their moon, sun, or ascendant, or it takes on the qualities of someone who's had a hard life or struggles in their life recently in the last few years. Okay, and they've worked very hard, and they've come through this wiser, but now the energy is back. Okay, the staff shows the fire, the inspiration. Spirituality, if it is for you that are touching in to your psychic, intuitive nature, if you're creative, it is a creative all spark, having the ideas to come up with um, these new passionate ideas, creative ways of getting what you want. Okay, loving nature, nature loving you, outdoors. Um, and this setting does look almost like autumn colors. I do see that, and we're closing in on autumn very shortly here. But, you know, it doesn't mean that you're an older person, and you can be someone in your 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, but you could be in your 30s or 20s, but have matured from this experience and we know that anytime we have the court cards it does talk about someone who's influencing the situation affecting the outcome or this is the energy that you shall be taking on so with that said we're going from someone who's calm emotionally and someone who's rekindled their energy and spark but i have to tell you all three of these energies are looking at the gesture here so all three of these individual energies, the intellectual and the emotional, the intellectual and the spiritual, and the physical presence of that strong warrior energy that has been victorious is all looking toward this choice or situation. So I'm going to say that everyone 
that's involved in the situation, if it is other people or every one of the energies that's affecting you with this choice that you're looking toward, you won't have much longer to, to go through to get the results that you're looking for. So stay the course. Okay, having this king energy and emperor energy is saying that you've gone through a lot and you are going to win this. Just hold on a little longer. Just juggle a little bit longer, okay? I know it doesn't look like you're ever going to see the light of day, but you shall. And through the end of this situation, these people are going to help you to get to this outcome or you yourself are going to take on this fiery and emotional energy and bring it to a balance to achieve the outcome that you're looking for. This is a really very, very different energy spirit. And I, I'm looking at this and saying, so either someone's choosing between two lovers, two people, or someone's between two jobs, someone's between two things that they want, one that's practical and makes sense and one emotionally they're torn into. You know, you could look at it that way too. Whatever this choice is, it's a very different energy. Fire and water, okay, fire and water. So you're saying one emotionally is satisfying, one is uh, satisfying your passion, but the outcome of it is you're going to make a logical choice and decision and after you're done making the decision you're going to be relieved you made the best choice remember you're doing the best you can i did pull the fairy oracle and i got number 23 which is the prince of heaven follow me and it says come this is your invitation to enter the realm of fairy and you see you're being beckoned here now for me the fairy realm would be anything ethereal esoteric otherworldly. So we know we have the thinning of the veils coming and we have this beautiful blessing of Jupiter moving into Libra. So it's at this time you're being beckoned by your higher self, guide, spirit, angels, the fairy realm, okay, to follow them into definitely tying into trusting yourself. They're looking to lead you. They're not asking for you to pay with anything. You know, this is unconditional love self and others your guides love you your angels love you they're saying follow me into this spiritual realm esoteric realm go within yourself trust what you're seeing your dreams are going to be much more vivid if you're dreaming try and make sense of the visions that you're having things that you think you're seeing out of the corner of your eye that you think you're losing your mind you're not these are the things that happen during the equinoxes especially while the veils are thinning and at this time Follow those dreams. Follow your inner light. Follow your inner divinity and trust in it. You're not going crazy. You're not losing your mind. These are the times that they're beckoning you to listen. And do listen. And make the choices that they're giving you. I mean, you have free will, but they're trying to help you right now. Take that help. We all could use some help. And then I did pull the Nature's Whispers too, because this is such an earthly kind of day and reading. We got this card again breakthrough, like we did the last two weeks. Okay, so we're definitely talking about building on our strengths and moving swiftly forward. And again, look at all this emotion. Look at all this water brewing up. So let's see what's going to go on in the world, okay? But for you, it's saying you're rising above it. So all of the things that seem like they're falling apart around you in your life emotionally. You've been going through a lot of stress probably since March. And I'm, I'm saying, especially with this card and, and the time frame, Uranus retrograde will be ending December 29th. So to me, this card keys in. It will pass by December 29th, 30th. That's when Uranus will uh, go direct again. And right now, we have Aries and Uranus. So you have this electrifying, shocking stuff going on in your life. All right? But here it's saying to trust. Again, you see how her heart is pulling her forward. Her head is thrust back with her arms. She is flying into this new freeing experience of her life and rising above all that emotional duress that's bubbling up, raging up deep within you. I mean, this is the time that we are maturing. We're being pulled and recalibrating. All of us, all of us are being beckoned to, whether we like it or not, what we've been repressing, what we've been aware of. We are being called to have this breakthrough. And since Spirit is showing up this card three times now, I say they're kind of in your face, saying it is time to fly. It is time to soar. Fear not. 
This is the time for you to have this great new beginning. And especially with this beautiful blessing of Jupiter in Libra. What a beautiful time. So you know that you're going to start to see things improve. I've been seeing it too already in the last few days. So enjoy it. Go with it. Love it. You deserve it. You deserve it. So I hope this does give you some help, guidance, and peace. And as always, I wish you the best.